Hey guys, welcome back to Master Mania with Sisters. So in this video, we are going to do this question, and the question is convert one dyne into newton. So dyne and newtons are the units of force. Dyne is the CGS unit, and newton is the SI unit. So basically, we need to convert CGS unit into SI unit. So first, we need to write what we have to do: one dyne into newton. So first we'll write here SI CGS unit and then here SI unit. So now in SI unit mass is equal to one gram, which we have to convert into kg. So we will write here one by one thousand kg. So now length length we write as one centimeter, and in SI unit we have to write it as one by one hundred meter. Time is equal to one second. Since in CGS unit and in SI unit, the unit of time is second. So now, in SI unit, mass is equal to one kg. Length is one meter. Time is one second. So now let us write the formula. For formula, you can also watch my previous video to make it more clear and simple. N two is equal to m one. N one, U one by U two. So N one is one, and here U one. So uh, what is dimension of force? This whole part is equal to Q, which is dimension of force. M L T minus two. Since we need to find the dimension of force, so we'll write here dimension of force. So in this form it only we need to write u1 and u2. So write so first take it as m1, l1, and t1, m2, l2, and t2 to avoid confusions. So here I'll write m1 into l1 into t1 to the power minus two. You can see the format of this and this is same. So likewise here m2 into l2 into t2. To the power minus two. So let us put the uh, value of m1, l1, and t1 respectively from here. So here, uh, one, one by one thousand. We can write it as ten to the power minus three into, and this one length, uh, length. We can write it as ten to the power minus two. One by hundred. We can write it as ten to the power minus two. And time that is one by So one to the power minus two. Here, let us put the substitute the value of m to l to and t to the power t two to the power minus two from here. So it is one into one into one to the power minus two. So calculating this, we will get here ten to the power minus seven. So Sorry, minus five gram, minus five. So from here we conclude that one dyne is equal to ten to the power five newton. For more videos, subscribe to Master Mania with Sisters and also press the bell icon to get latest update. Also like and share the video so that we can make more and more videos for you. Subscribe and also press the bell icon for latest update and also ask your doubts in the comment section. Thank you.